Welcome to Adorable Corner, where sensible reigns. It is our promise to keep you informed and entertained with all that makes sense. Do subscribe to this channel and like our videos always. Hello, how are you doing today? Welcome to the next tutorial as far as commentary screen reader is concerned. In our last tutorial, we stopped at installing and doing the basic setup of commentary screen reader. If you can recall, we did launch commentary screen reader before we start. Today, we are looking at the user settings yes when you install your commentary screen reader and it starts to talk what are the settings what are the necessary settings you should you know check and make sure they are being set right just make just to make sure that they are in the right shape so that when you are using commentary screen reader, you don't have any problem. So that's what we are looking at today. Without wasting any time further, let me go to my app list and launch commentary screen reader. Commentary screen reader. So this is commentary screen reader. I'll launch it here. Commentary screen reader. Immediately you launch commentary screen reader. If you swipe right, just like this. Email so that's an email address that you can always send your request or your bug to as long as um, commentary screen reader usage is concerned. So if I swipe right again, general settings. General settings. This is the first place you will go so that you can adjust some settings there. Commentary screen reader. Let me let you know that we are not going to be covering the user settings in one tutorial. We are going to be dividing it into a different segment. So this is like the first segment of the user settings. I'm going to be touching the simple one. You know, we're taking it from simple to complex. Just like I said, commentary screen that is a complex app, but as complex as it is, it's a good app. Yeah. So let's swipe. Commentary screen reader. Configuration wizard. TTSD. Configuration wizard. Configuration wizard. This is what we launched, you know, at uh, the time we installed it. This is where you can set all those things we talked about in our first tutorial. TTSD. Now, this is the TTS speed. Here, you can increase the speed of your TTS but i'm gonna tell you something about it um later on TTS volume. so this is your tts volume here you can increase and decrease your tts volume have it in mind that i have something to tell you about it read usage hints. Check box check. good read usage hint let's start the sentence from here in the first tutorial i did i talked about this um usage hint so let's check it and see check. what's going to happen Read the check box check. Double -click to activate it. you can hear double click to activate it so if i uncheck it usage check box check. Double -click to activate it. Uncheck. and i swipe now Read the check box check. so you will not hear anything like double click to activate it so we are on read list range if i click it check six read notifications from the notifications panel check box on check five read the range check box check four read usage check box on check three tts volume you can see that there is a number on each settings menu. One is configuration wizard. Two TTS speed. Two TTS speed. Three TTS volume. Three TTS volume. Four usage hints. Checkbox on check. Four usage hint. Five read the list range. Checkbox check. Five read the list range. So I'm gonna uncheck it. Uncheck. After unchecking, if I swipe. Read notifications from the notifications panel. Checkbox on check. So there's nothing like, um, you know, numbers anymore. Now, 
read notification from the notification panel if you want your notification to be read from the notification panel as a user this is where you're going to check so for me i don't want to check it because i really do not want commentary screen that to start making a whole lot of noise so i'm um, moving forward good by default this place is checked you must also leave it checked where you have used left swipe to navigate it must be checked Use custom, gestures, check box, uncheck. custom gestures check box uncheck we need to check it check then let's swipe again custom gesture settings custom gesture settings we're coming back to this one later on Commentary screen reader. so that's all about the general settings but let's go back a little by swiping left custom, use, use, read, 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 use, TTS, TTS, configuration with commentary screen reader. configuration tts speed tts speed i told you that you can adjust your tts speed from here but sometimes it doesn't work i'll tell you why this is the reason if you are using two tts engine at the same time if you remember we talked about something like that in our first um, tutorial if you adjust it from here it's gonna work because this place controls the multiple tts together but if you're using single TTS, it might not work. In fact, many times it doesn't work. The TTS volume, if you adjust it here too, it won't work many times. Sometimes it will work. But let's try the TTS speed. TTS speed. TTS speed. TTS speed. 50 check. So it's on 50. I'm going to reduce it. You can see there's no difference, so it's not working. TTS volume, TTS speed. So take TTS it back to TTS. I know by now you are feeling disappointed. So how am I going to decrease and increase my TTS speed? And I'm sure this one you are listening to is rather too fast. Bear with me. You know, I don't do that, but I just have to do it for the purpose of learning. So the TTS volume, TTS volume. is not also going to work. It won't work here, but let's try. TTS volume. TTS volume. 87 on check. 88 on check. 89 on check. 90 on check. 91 on check. 92 on check. 93 on check. 94 on check. 95 on check. 96 on check. 97 on check. 98 on check. 99 on check. 100 check. Okay, 100 is check. So let's take it down. It's not working. So let's take it back to So let's leave this place. That's just what I want to show you. And let's move to the next one. TTS settings. Let's click here. TTS settings. That's the second one. So I'm swipe right. Navigate up button. TTS settings. Main TTS engine. TTS engine used for reading content. If the selected engine is not working, the first available engine will be used. Good. This is where you can choose the main TTS engine you want to use for your reading with commentary screen reader. Let me click here. Main TTS engine. Main TTS engine. System TTS on check. Young system TTS on check. Google text to speech engine. Come Google Android TTS on check. That's Google text to speech. Young system TTS on check. This one is Chinese Young Fei. Google text to speech engine. Come Google Android TTS on check. Commentary screen reader. Come now. You're on check. Commentary screen reader. That's also a TTS engine. I think it's Chinese too. So I really do not want to try it so that I don't get me. I mean, get things uh, messed up. So this is ETI eloquence. I'm going to check it. TTS settings. You can see the TTS has changed from smart voice. That's the vocalizer TTS to ETI eloquence. So I'll take it back. So I'm back at um, Smart Voice now. Secondary TTS engine, the engine used for reading notifications or additional information. Selecting the same engine as the main engine will result in using only one engine. Main TTS engine, TTS, secondary TTS engine, the engine used for reading notifications or additional information. Selecting the same engine as the main engine will result in using only one engine. Secondary TTS 
engine that's the tts that will be used to read your notification that's if you have two tts engines selected just like i talked about it in the first tutorial so this is where you can choose the voice you are going to use for your secondary tts use a single tts engine checkbox check use a single tts engine it is checked by default and that's because of the configuration i did in my last tutorial but i can change it if i like i'll just uncheck it TTS, use a single TTS engine. Check box, check. Uncheck. so i've just unchecked it right now so if i uncheck it that means i need to set my secondary tts engine and what that would work for is if i have anything coming from my notification it is the secondary tts that would read it but if it is coming um from like i'm swiping i'm browsing you know i'm reading something from the main screen it is the main tts engine that would read that one secondary tts use a single tts engine check box on check so i'm gonna check it because i'm using single tts check so let's go system tts settings so here you have the system tts settings if i click here system tts settings navigate button System TTS settings. TTS rate overrates the system TTS engine. Warning. This function is in beta form and it is not guaranteed to work on all speech engines. Now, I would advise that you don't check this because it is in beta version. If you check it to override the system rate, it will start, you know, to function in a way that you don't like. TTS volume. Let's just try it so that I can, I can show you what we have. TTS rate overrates the system TTS engine. Warning. This function is TTS rate. So you have number one to ten. TTS rate. One. One check. Two check, three check, four check, five check, cancel button, five check. Okay, five. Let me check it. You can see now. System TTS settings. TTS volume. TTS rate overrates the system TTS engine. Warning. This TTS rate. TTS rate. One check. So I just managed to take it back to one. So it doesn't really work. So don't Home always button. come here. System TTS Press the back button. Accessibility. Home button. Navigate button. System TTS settings. TTS rate overrates the system TTS engine. Warning. This function is in beta form and is not guaranteed to work on all speech engines. So the warning has been there already. So don't come here. TTS volume. TTS volume. This is where you can change the volume. Let's try it. TTS volume. TTS volume. 87 on check. 88 on check. 87 on check. 80, 80, 80, 80, 80 on check. 79 on check. System TTS settings. You can see. The change has been, you know, affected. So TTS TTS volume. TTS volume. Let's take it back to one. So to change your system volume, this is where you are going to come to. Not in the general setting. It's not gonna work if you are using the single TTS. TTS This is speed. TTS Cancel button. So let me do it. 84 on check. 83, 80, 81, 80, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, the pitch of the TTS system TTS settings. So that all navigate up about button. System TTS settings. I'll navigate up TTS settings. Navigate T main TTS engine secondary TT use a single TTS and system TTS settings. Sunfree TTS setting unisound TTS settings. So these are the TTS that came pre installed with the CSR. You can adjust. Their settings by clicking on any one of them. Echo TTS settings. Read emoji. Check box unchecked. Yes. You need to check this place so that when emoji is focused, commentary screen that will read it for you. Checked. Read custom defined symbols. Check box unchecked. Custom defined symbols. You can just leave this. It's not really necessary. Custom symbol settings. Other settings. All the settings, so let's go there. Other settings, other set system TTS volume. Q notifications for reading. Check box unchecked. Yes, Q notification for reading. If you check this, it will be reading notification one after the other. Instead of reading 
almost everything at the same time it will kill them audio ducking check box on check duck other sounds when speaking if you want audio ducking this is what you are going to check so that when the commentary screen that is speaking it's going to dock every other sound slow down speech when in word browsing mode check box on check please do not touch this just um, leave this but if you check it if you switch to word um, browsing mode that's if you are reading word by word it will slow down speech use accessibility volume check box on check screen readers volume will be controlled by the accessibility volume instead of media volume warning it only supports the system TTS engine so this place if you check it you would use the accessibility volume to control the media let's see check so check use the ring use accessibility let's volume press. check box media volume 70 so it's 80 85 you can 90, see 90 85 80 70 60 60 50 45 40 30 you can see it's not uh, 40 45 50 it's not controlling the commentary screen that volume settings so it's only controlling the media um you know volume when you press the volume up and down so if you don't want this use you the, use accessible U-N-C-H-A-C-K-E-D Use the ringtone volume Checkbox media 65 Use accessibility volume checkbox on checked screen readers so volume I just will be controlled it. by Use the ringtone volume Checkbox on checked use the ringtone volume to determine the volume of the caller info speech Yes, I will always advise that you check this so that when your caller name info is being spoken you would hear it because it's going to use the same volume as your ringtone check use the proximity sensor check box on check stop reading when the proximity sensor is being touched yeah if you like to use the proximity sensor that's when you touch it you want reading to stop this is where you're gonna check use wake lock check box check keep the screen awake when text is being read this is checked by default and I will advise you leave it checked what this sentence does is anytime you are reading something long it will prevent the screen from you know locking until that message is read use use wake lock check box check keep the screen awake enhanced wake lock check box unchecked if the above option doesn't work please use this one so if you check this first option and you still have instances of your screen going off when you are reading a long article you just check the second one but if you don't have it please leave it on check because it's going to drastically consume your battery read numbers by digit check box unchecked good if you want numbers to be read by digit here is you know the place you come you just check this box Read punctuation check box unchecked. If you want punctuation to be read, you simply check it. Report capital letters when navigating keyboard. Check box unchecked. Good. If you check this place, anytime you type anything in capital letter, you'll get the feedback. So I'm going to check it. Check. Other settings. So that's all about other settings here. So I'm going to press the back, back button. button. TTS. Echo TTS setting. Read up. Read custom. Other set. Navigate up button. So there's nothing. After the other settings, I'll navigate. Commentary screen reader. Commentary to, to keep one. general set TT feedback settings. Feedback settings. Let me show you what is here. Feedback settings. Navigate up. Feedback setting. Audible feedback. Checkbox checked. Yes. If you don't want this sound that you hear when I swipe, this is where you're going to check. Unchecked. Okay. Now you're going to uncheck it. Sound theme you volume. See? There's no sound again no sound feedback no audible feedback audible feedback so check box on check i like using it so i'll check it checked so let's swipe again sound theme volume now this is where you can increase or decrease your sound theme volume sound this themes. sound that you're hearing as sound you swipe. Theme volume you can decrease and increase it here sound themes now this is where you can select different sound themes if you have different ones downloaded 
but by default one sound team is what you have but there is an option for you to download more sound teams and have multiple so that you can choose from them we're going to be touching that later on on our next um, tutorial default customize the sound theme now this is where you can customize the sound theme you can determine uh, what sound you want to hear whether you want to hear the click sound or you want to hear the um, swipe sound and all of that that's what you can do here you can explore it on your own manage sound themes yeah manage sound themes this is where you can delete any sound themes you feel you don't want you can also delete it elsewhere we we'll talk about that in our next tutorial vibration feedback checkbox check vibration feedback if you want your commentary screener to vibrate while you swipe and click this is where you are going to check it's checked by default i think yeah manage check. vibration feedback checkbox check but i'm gonna uncheck it unchecked because i don't like vibration vibration intensity yeah this is where you can set the vibration intensity that's the the light or the heaviness of the sound of the vibration sound navigate up button so that's all here commentary Let's screen reader download addition plug it advanced set it notif content present action set feedback settings feedback settings so let's go to action, action settings. settings action settings that's the next one navig action set gesture theme custom custom gesture gestures description gesture setting per app gesture theme configure per app gesture use to the gamer mode put the applicate alternative gesture setting scrolling setting edge gesture set shortcut key. custom hot theme click action settings multi-part gesture fingerprint reader just other settings so let's go to other settings here other settings other set shake no command yeah if you want to shake the phone to perform certain things this is where you go uh, we're going to be touching more on this in our next tutorial shaking sensitivity shake to answer the call check box on check yes if you check this please you shake the phone to answer your calls but i've heard that it doesn't work on samsung and some other phone but it's working on nokia we're going to be practicing it later on do not use custom gestures in word by word browsing mode check box checked use the note browsing mode use multi-finger ge enable gestures other settings so everything here is okay by default just leave it as it is back button action back. settings shortcut keys custom click at multi finger other setting navigate up button let's navigate up there are settings here but we'll touch them as we advance in the tutorial commentary screen reader so let's go plugins and text at notification content action settings yeah action settings content presentation settings content presentation settings let's go here content presentation That's settings i want to show you navig content hint settings list settings label presentations dynamic content settings yeah you need to come here dynamic content settings and do some settings dynamic automatic reading of progress bars checkbox unchecked automatically read progress bar changes when focusing them you need to check this when you check it if you are downloading something maybe on whatsapp anywhere you are downloading something is going to be reading the progress bar even if you are sending a voice note on whatsapp and you are uploading it you are going to be getting the progress bar checked so check now report dynamic content changes checkbox checked autom automatically read contents of the current window checkbox on check automatically read qq chat messages checkbox on checked automatic dynamic content settings so let's go out of here accessible back button content presentation user dictionary use con dictionary screen state dynamic content screen state reporting no, we're not going here dictionary set content filtering use the custom dictionary check user dictionary setting navigate up button so let's go back commentary screen reader extensions advanced notific content presentation settings notification settings yes notification settings let's go here notification navig notification read notifications from the notifications panel checkbox unchecked so if you want notification to be read from the notification panel you can check here read pop-up notifications checkbox checked yes this is checked by default should in case it is not checked on your own commentary screener please check it pop-up notification is very very compulsory 
Read screen readers notifications. Checkbox checked. Yeah, it should be checked. Do not read incoming notifications when the speech is on checkbox unchecked. Yeah, this sh should be unchecked. Read notifications while the screen is locked. Checkbox unchecked. Good. This is where you determine whether notification should be read while the screen is locked. For me, I don't want it, so that's why I've kept it unchecked. If you want it, you simply just check it. Notification summary checkbox unchecked. Notification summary. If you wanted to read the notification summary, you can check this place. Read source of the notification. Checkbox checked. Yeah, source of the notification. Please make sure it is checked. Because when notifications are coming, you want to know where they are coming from. Notification blacklist notifications containing blacklisted items will not be BE spoken. Good. We are going to come back to this place in our subsequent tutorials. Because I've heard some people complaining that uh, our commentary screen died. It, 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 it talks a lot. Most usually when I'm on Facebook, it just be reading notification, reading blah, 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 blah. And I don't want it. So with commentary screen, you can actually blacklist notifications. Yes. And you can whitelist notification if i swipe right once notification whitelist notifications containing whitelisted content will always be spoken so that's whitelist i'll show you how you are, you can add to whitelists and add to blacklists in our subsequent tutorial navigate up button so let's go back commentary screen read extensions advanced notif content pr notification settings yeah we stopped at notification the next one is advanced settings advanced settings we have a lot of settings here to adjust so let's go advanced setting navigate up advanced set voice assistant settings voice assistant settings this is where you can set anything that, uh, that has to do with your voice assistance how commentary screen is going to be responding to voice assistance but we're not going there now it's a lesson on its own so we come back there later ocr settings ocr settings this is where you can set how your optical char character recognition with commentary screen reader behaves so we're going to be coming back here later on in our tutorial Please don't miss it. You have a lot to learn with commentary screen reader. Timer settings. Timer setting. Yeah, little did you know that on commentary screen reader, it is possible to set time, you know, hourly, 30 minutes, 45 minutes. It's even possible for you to set alarm. And when the time, you know, um, actually comes, commentary screen reader will start to tell you what it is. So it's a topic for another day automatically running plugins automatically running plugins we're not coming here now yeah we'll be back here later schedule tasks schedule tasks you can schedule tasks with commentary screen reader yeah, that's also a topic for another day manage resources manage resources this is where you can manage all of the resources but right now you don't even know what resources is in commentary screen reader so we're going to be coming back here in detail action settings action settings so let's click here this is another action settings in advanced settings is necessary you come here action setting actions use gestures to select words when in edit mode checkbox on check swipes will change the auto correct word yes if you want to be using gestures to select words when you are editing this is where you come to you check it but I'll leave it on check for now until we get to where we are going to practicalize that. Remember the focus position checkbox on check. Yeah, if you check this first one, you must check the second one. So because I did not check the first one, I would not check this. Lift up finger to activate menu option. Checkbox on check. Okay, if you check this one, instead of you to double tap the menu, You'll be lifting your fingers up on it when you put it on it and it's going to activate so i'm not going to check it lift up finger to activate software navigation alari enabling the screen reader from the action settings alari enabling the screen reader from the notifications bar only checkbox unchecked good if you prefer that when you suspend your screen reader or you turn off your screen reader you want it to be enabled via the notification only this is where you check but if you don't want that, just leave it unchecked like it is, you know, by default. Back button. Back button. Advanced settings. Long overview. Cloud backup. 
back others menu setting power setting action settings we stop that action setting so the next one is power setting power settings under advanced settings power settings yes this is very very important okay everything i do here please make sure you do it power settings power saving mode check box on check reduce the battery consumption please check this checked good the second one check box unchecked it won't say anything okay but i would advise that you leave it unchecked don't check it now what's gonna happen if you check this particular place if you check it most times your commentary screen reader would just be um screen unlocked it won't lock your screen it will, not, it will not allow your screen to lock so just leave it just check the first option and leave the second option on check right now you are going to be enjoying your battery power settings so let's go back back button advanced settings and um, power settings menu settings menu settings don't let us go here yeah we'll still come back there later on other settings other settings so let's go here other settings other set enable auto updater check box unchecked please do not check this leave it unchecked okay because if you check it sometimes updates you know is being released and it's full of bugs so it's better you listen to what people are saying about the update before you update it than you enabling it to update automatically label sharing checkbox check share and download custom labels from the server yes you need to leave this one as it is by default use the custom dictionary restart required to apply checkbox on check leave this one other settings so let's navigate up enable auto updater check back button advanced settings Accessibility button, back button, act help navigate, advanced set, voice assistant settings, OC, time, auto, scan, manage, action setting, power settings, menu settings, other setting, backup and restore settings. Yes, backup and restore settings. We're still coming here later on. Cloud backup. Cloud backup. I'll tell you what it is in our subsequent tutorial. Navigate up button. So let's navigate up. Commentary screen reader. But it's something I still want to show you. Let's go back a little. Content presentation settings. Actions. Content presentation settings. Yeah, content presentation settings. Let's go there. Content presentation before, settings. But it's something I forgot to show you. Let me navigate content presentation Sorry. hint settings. List settings. Label presentation settings. Good. Label presentation settings. Let's launch Label it. presentation settings. Read the currently focused control name. Checkbox check read the current elements type and name. If there's no name, the screen reader will try and guess it. So if this is not checked by default on your commentary screen app, make sure you check it. Read type of the page element checkbox checked if switched on. All elements types will be read. Otherwise only the necessary information will be spoken. If this is not checked too, like it is here, please make sure you check it. Try read type of the page element checkbox checked yeah, if switched one. on. Try to guess the label of an unlabeled item. Checkbox on check the ID of the currently focused item is being read when the item has no name. Good, you need to check this place so that when you come across any unlabeled button, commentary screen reader would read the name of that label for you. Check. Read the index of an unlabeled control. Checkbox on check read the index number of the focused item, even if the item has no label or ID. Please leave this one on check. Don't check it. Label presentation settings. So let's press the back button. Back button. Content presentation settings. That marks the end of everything you need to do after installing and doing the initial setup on commentary screen reader. If you want to enjoy your commentary screen reader very well before talking about gestures, you know, and other advanced settings that you have in commentary screen now you need to make sure that as a user you ensure that all of these settings are in the right you know place so that you would enjoy your commentary screen reader after setting up other advanced settings so next time 
on the next tutorial we're going to be talking about something very fascinating till then see you in peace <music>